Okay. Yeah, I'm back. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Hello. Yeah. You said you have three credit cards. Yes. First one is Bank of America. Second is Chase. And yeah, third... yeah, but what does this have to do with my social security? What do you What do you want? Yes, I'm transferring your line to the Marshall headquarters after this asset verification report. They will help you. They will more information. Okay, you. all right, all right. Go ahead. What do you need? You said you have three credit cards. Correct. First one is Bank of America. Second one is Chase. And third one is... American Express. Just give me a moment. The Bank of America, is it, uh, what is the limit of it? Uh, I don't know, 10,000, I think. How much you owe to them? Uh, nothing. I pay every month. What is the limit of your chase? 12,000. How much you owe to them? Like 800. What is the limit of your American Express? There's no limit on that one. No preset spending limit, they like to say. Okay. Do you have any health insurance in your name? Yes. Do you have any passport in your name? Yes. Do you have any 401k or IRA under your name? Yes, I have 401k and thrift savings plan. Okay, thank you for the information, and I believe all of this information is true, okay? What makes you think that? I'm transferring your line to the U.S. Marshal Headquarters. They okay. will help you. Okay. They will give you more information about your case, okay? Just Please don't put me in jail. Moment. Please, I don't want to go to jail. Please, can you not do that to me? I'm a good guy, I yes, promise. Yes, yes. U.S. Marshal help you. Okay, but I promise I did not Just do hold things on for that a you're moment. telling me. I didn't do Just it. hold on for a moment. Okay. Please don't, my family's gonna get hurt. This boy trying to put me in jail. What's up? <laughs> I don't know why they think that, that like my, my social security number would be used or why would they think that I did something? They said they found blood and like fingerprints and like crime stuff in the in an abandoned vehicle in texas somewhere i haven't even been to el paso texas i don't know what this guy's talking about but he said i can go to jail and i have an abandoned car and i got a, a, a apartment in my name and 80 some thousand dollars were transferred internationally and locally and all this crazy stuff and he took some information he's transferred me to the u.s marshal's office Ooh. i hope they don't put me in jail because i don't know what i would do Connected. This is Officer Roger with the U.S. Marshal's headquarters. How are you today? Yes, Mr. Roger. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you very much for asking. Please don't put me in jail because I didn't do what he's talking about. Oh, uh, no. Uh, first of all, let me check. I'm talking with Milan B. Tucker. Yes. Okay. Could you verify the last word for socials for me, please? Can you verify it and I'll tell you yes or no? No, I want you to verify it for me. Seven four five four. Incorrect. Incorrect. Mm -hmm. What makes you think that? Not matching in my system over here. Oh, okay. So what's matching? I don't know who you are. All right. So you're not going to give me the correct social security number, please. What do you need the social security number for? You guys seem to know who I am and that I have an abandoned vehicle and an apartment and this and that. Okay, Milan, I don't think you're in a situation to talk with your federal officer right now, okay? What we will do is we will just send some uh, officers to visit your residence to go ahead and take you in custody, okay? Can you not do that, please? Like over a social security number, you're going to have like an officer come visit me? Is that necessary? Yeah, that is necessary. We need Come to go on. ahead and take you in custody Please, because be there a, are crimes be a, happening at the Be a nice guy. Understand that this is not me. How could I be in El Paso, Texas with an abandoned vehicle in an apartment? Don't do that to me. I'm having a good day otherwise. Why would you ruin my day? 
It's not about the day, it's about your life. It's if you have if you if these charges are pressed against your name, you would be in prison, you know that? Yeah, I know. You know what you need to know though? I'm I'm Gujarati, you know mm -hmm. from my name. So why would you try to screw over another Indian brother? I know you're a scam artist in India somewhere. How's the weather over there in uh, Mumbai or is it Delhi? <laughs> You're really going to screw over a Gujarati brother, man? Seriously? Now you're going to be famous on YouTube. Come on, man. I know you can do better than this. Come on. I'm so proud of my, my Indian people. Why would you Why would you do this? Majama, you know, you want a job? I'm serious. Aside from all this, I really like how professional you are. I would hire you in a heartbeat because you're, you know, you're obviously dedicated and you're hungry. I have a, a couple businesses here in the United States in Las Vegas, and I was just kind of playing along. Okay. But why don't you stop doing this type of stuff and come work for me? What is it, 68 rupees to a dollar right now? I guarantee you I'll pay you more than what you're earning right now. I only get five rupees per dollar. Five rupees per dollar? Why? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I work for a company, so I get five rupees per dollar. That doesn't even make any sense. We're talking about an hourly. The The exchange rate is 68 rupees to one U.S. dollar. So you're not as yeah, intelligent I as I thought. So Okay, send the guys, man. I, I look forward to going to jail and meeting Bubba and all that good hey, stuff. Hey, let's, let's do business. You told me you're going to give me a job in Las Vegas. Now yeah, why but are if you trying if to run away? But if you're that slow where you think it's five rupees to a dollar, I, don't, I can't do business with you. I thought you had some level of intelligence, but obviously not. No, I told you I'm getting five rupees per dollar over here. In, in per the, dollar or per hour? Per dollar, I said. Your company doesn't determine the exchange rate. That's why I just identified your very low IQ. Do you know what IQ means, little boy? I know intelligence questioner, sir. Let me explain. No, you no, one you thing. obviously don't know I because what your company pays you is dollar. irrelevant let, to. Let me tell you one. Go thing. ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, my company pays me less. So if you're giving me more, I'll come and work for you. What do you think? Yeah, about but you're that? saying five rupees per dollar. That doesn't even make any sense. You mean per hour? Do you I know the difference between an hour and a dollar? dollar? No, no, no. Let me tell you one thing. I get paid five rupees per dollar. So okay, you have to pay your here. company a dollar. I know it's sixty-eight. Right. They pay me five rupees per dollar. Okay. But I know the exchange rate is 68 and 70 rupees per dollar. Oh, so for every dollar, see, you got to explain it properly. So for every dollar that you recover. Yeah. Okay. Per dollar I recover. That's I what understand you got me right now. now. Okay. So you, you had me, you had me confused. So I guess I'm the idiot. But, um, okay. So for every <laughs> dollar that you jack from, I don't from, think so. from, from, Okay, so every dollar that you jack, you just have to explain it better, that's all. I don't know how it works, but I thought they may, you know, pay you a little. Okay, so you get a commission, right? No fixed income, you get five mm -hmm. rupees for every dollar that they, that they jack from my Correct, my friend. Okay, all right, perfect. Well, let's stay in touch with each other because I, I know I can pay you more than that. Okay, what, what, what's the job? Let me know. Uh, it's, let's, let's set up a time where we can speak when you're not at work. You have my number? That sounds good. Let's schedule a call because I want to tell you right? details that I can't ex explain over here right now. Yeah. Uh, actually, let me give you a direct line to reach me. Are you ready? Uh-huh. 702-300-8488. Uh -huh. uh -huh. What city are you in? I come to Ahmedabad every, uh, every year. Ahmedabad. I'm also in Ahmedabad. Oh, you're in Ahmedabad. Okay. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, you know Mani Nagar cover chhe? Um Mani Nagar uh, uh -huh, tan gadi aachu. Ane mar baat. My friends live in Mani Nagar. And mar baat and navi pova gadi hati. But ave Mani Nagar and then what's that? Uh, uh, satellite Road. We have one place over there. So, to malia um, um like be mai na ma aachu tan gadi malwa mar like I still have some family there. Like okay, let's talk. I want to open up oh, okay. a, a call center over there to be honest, and I'll tell you more details when you call me. When can you call me? Um. I'm free right now, basically. Yeah, but I'm not. This is our business hours over here, so I'm in the middle of a bunch of things. I just thought this was funny, so I'd, I'd oh. play along with it. So yeah. <laughs> I got you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, especially right. when you see another Let's Indian later, name, okay? you gotta have you, a, you gotta have a little bit of mercy on the Indian names. But yeah, call me when you have time. I get out of here at six uh, p.m. Don't so if... worry, don't worry, Milan. I'm, I'm, I was not taking anything from you. I know. Okay. I know. First of all, I saw your name over here, Tucker. So I just. Just had a word with you. I'm not going to take anything from you. Don't worry. Okay? And neither are you going to give anything. Okay? You already know. We're I was just having fun, bro. Okay. I, just had, I saw an Indian guy. That's why I was just having fun. Okay. Okay. Chalo. No problem. We have a lazy day today. That's why. Okay. Call me after 6 p.m. my time if you don't mind. All right. Sure, bro. Okay. Take care. Chalo. Bye. All right. Bye-bye.